OK, I know the Lions is a year away, but I had such good response from that Lions video I did after the Six Nations, I just had to follow it up because I did a fun video saying who might get into the Lions based on this Six Nations, who did well in the tournament. And I put a team out, here is the team, and many of you said, OK, they had a decent Six Nations, but that's not how it's going to be. So OK, let's go for it. Together, let's predict who's going to be the Lions next year, a whole year out, and then maybe we can come back to it and see how right or wrong we are. This is the team that I said did well in the Six Nations, so I'm going to be referring to this at some point. What I want you guys to do is to vote. We haven't done this for a while. I'll put a link below to a vote, to a Google form, and I want you guys to put down who you think will be in the team next year, your predicted Lions 15. I'll come back with the results and we'll see together what we come up with and then we can compare it to the real thing if we remember next year. And before we get into that, I know this channel is normally all about international rugby and the news surrounding that, but I want to start to develop the channel a bit more and look at some more club rugby, look at the Champions Cup, look at the run into the Premiership, things like that. So you will start seeing match reports and news and events from those competitions as well. So wish me luck there. I'm going to have to get some time off from the family. Hopefully they'll let me and we'll get cracking on that. So the first question is, could you possibly separate the Irish front row of Porter, Sheehan and Furlong? I think this one is very, very strong. Could you put Genge in there? Maybe, but Porter's playing so well. Are there any other big players? I'm not sure. I think it will be Porter personally. I don't see anyone else challenging him. At Hooker, maybe it's just that throwing that could be a question for Sheehan. His athletic ability could be rivaled, I guess, by the likes of maybe Theo Dan as a bolter, maybe Lake as a bolter, but Sheehan looks like he's the complete package. Who's going to be the backup? And I will be doing a bench from the second places in this vote. Tight head prop, I said Furlong. Furlong is still a very strong prop. And I actually did a video on Scotland struggling up front. And Furlong was a big part of that, why they struggled against Ireland. So even though he's not the twinkle toes he was before, he is still an absolute beast. Who could challenge him? Fagerson, I'm not so sure. Maybe his strongest rival is actually his understudy in Finlay Beelham. That's interesting. But can we possibly separate that Irish front row, get those votes, and let's get the answer for sure. Then on to second row, and I said maybe it's going to be a Toje and Burn. And in the comments, you guys said, well, in a year, I think some of these youngsters are going to be absolutely amazing. The likes of George Martin from England is going to be a beast. Joe McCarthy, we've already seen the damage he can do. Just imagine those two together. Or maybe another youngster, Daffy Jenkins, maybe he gets even better. So will it be the youngsters or will it be some of the old stagers? Get those votes in. I'd love to know what you guys think. Blindside flanker, I had moved Doris to six in my team that I picked after the Six Nations. And many of you guys said, no, Doris probably stays at eight and it's going to be someone else. Could Peter Amani still be there? I don't know. I'd tipped Cunningham South to come good over the next year if he stays fit. A really good player for Scotland was Andy Christie. Goodness me, he made so many metres for them. He was absolutely vital. He has broken his arm, but hopefully he will be back. Or will it be an absolute bolter? Will a Mackenzie Martin come onto the scene? But many of you guys said, no, it's going to be Morgan. Morgan's going to come back from Wales and maybe even captain the whole thing. So this is an interesting one. Get those votes in for blindside flanker. Open side, I said Rafael had a really good Six Nations, but you guys said, yes, but he's not quite the same class as some of these other guys. Under who had a good Six Nations for England. Do you really displace Van der Fleer? He's probably the favourite to be predicted to be the seven. Or is it someone like Rory Darsh for Scotland? Or do you switch someone like Morgan from blind to open? Or does Rafael get in? Very interesting. I'm guessing Van der Fleer might be the pick of many, but let me know what that vote is going to be. Number eight. I had put Ben Earl there at number eight, who has been phenomenal for England. Or do you move Earl to seven? Doris has been amazing for Ireland, so he probably has to go somewhere. So what do you do with the Earl and Doris debate? Or do you get an old stager back? The likes of Talupe Falatau could still be in the picture, because remember, as long as they are from one of the four nations, they don't have to conform to the actual individual governing body's eligibility criteria. That's a mouthful. Wainwright's been very good for Wales as well, so could there be a shock there? Conan, the understudy for Doris there, and number eight, he's brilliant for Leinster, always good for uh, Ireland when he comes on. Could he be a man? So interesting to see what you go for at number eight. Into the backs, Gibson Park looks odds on to be the scrum half, but is there anybody else? 
In the comments, you guys said Ben White was very good for Scotland. Is there anybody else challenging him? I think Thomas Williams might be the closest. I think Gibson Park's going to run away with this vote, but we will see. At fly half, I had put Finn Russell in there. We know he's crazy talented, but if you're going to have someone super reliable for the Lions, do you go Russell or do you go someone a bit more all round? And many of you said Crowley is the man. We've seen him enough in the World Cup, in the Six Nations, to know he's got a bit of everything. He's super strong in defence. He's got a good running game. He's got a good passing game. Or maybe Andy Farrell picks his son, Owen Farrell, to come back from France if they can negotiate some sort of release. That is another thing for someone playing outside the Four Nations and come and play for the Lions. That's going to be interesting to see. Do you go Russell? Do you go someone else? I see this one being quite close, actually. Inside centre, I said Aki. I think he is the favourite. Or do you go for a playmaker like Tui Palutu? That's interesting. Or do you go for a wild card? Do you say that Mason Grady is going to be amazing and have a great year and be the Lions 12 or somewhere in that team anyway? So let me know if it's anyone other than than Aki. Outside centre could be interesting. I had shifted to Palutu to 13, but is he really going to get in over Ringrose if he's fit? Maybe, maybe not. Other names to chuck in there, you've got Lawrence of England, maybe even George North of Wales, even though he'll be playing in Pro De Deux of France and he has been injured, Achilles injury, hopefully he'll be back from that. So they could do that or go for a complete youngster who has a great year. Uh, maybe Roberts has a great year. Onto the wing, I had put Dyer in there because he had a really good Six Nations, but many of you said, no, he's had a good Six Nations, but he's not Lion starter material. Let me know. You all agreed with Lowe. I think Lowe's going to play somewhere. Who joins him? Is it his Irish teammate Hansen, who was injured for the Six Nations? But he's a class act. Remember, you've got Darcy Graham coming back for Scotland. Or do you go for the big beast finisher of Van der Merwe? Certainly many of you put Lowe and Van der Merwe together. Really interesting to see who you go for there. Obviously pick two. And then finally, on to fullback. Who's it going to be? I said Kinghorn put some good attack together in the Six Nations. But many of you guys said yes. But in a year's time, it's going to be Keenan. He's absolute class. It's not like he's had a bad game for Highland particularly ever or could it be someone else could young Cameron Winnett have a stellar year and come back into it Patterson had a good debut for Scotland could he have a great year or do they go for an old stager bring them back from abroad Liam Williams if they can negotiate some sort of release from his club in Japan could he come back into it but Keenan I think is in pole position I'd be surprised if he wasn't the big vote love to know what you think as always I read every single comment if you like these sorts of videos please subscribe please like that would be amazing click that vote link below and get voting and I'll catch you next time